I'm going to now show you one of the ways to use a map and compass in the field. In my last video, I was showing you how to use a map and a compass to plot out points on the ground. So you've got your map out on a table and you have your compass and you're trying to figure out what degrees you want to travel in. So an example of how to use this in the field is I know I'm in this bay and I want to cut a portage to the next bay. I can plot out the direction I want to travel on the map and then use that direction on my compass. So in lab, in the last video we plotted out 160 degrees and we then I can turn this dial until 160 degrees is at that little arrow there. Then when I'm going through the forest I can keep checking my compass and make sure I'm traveling in 160 degrees so I'm cutting my uh, portage in the right direction so I get to the place that I want to go. So that's knowing where I'm starting and where I'm going. Sometimes you're not quite sure where you are and you're trying to orient yourself precisely. So a way we can do that is there's my map again. Say I'm on this lake and I'm not sure where on the lake I am, but I can see in the distance a large hill. And I'm looking at my map and I'm thinking, well, you know, it's probably that hill. That's the only really big hill nearby. So how do I know if that's the right direction to where I am? So I'm going to set my compass back to put north, where north is. So I've got north on the top. And see these black arrows around the back here? They are parallel to the north arrow. And even when I turn my dial, they turn with it. So those black arrows always point north. So then I can line those black arrows up with the blue lines on my map. Like that. And help me figure out where I'm pointing. So then with my map beside me, I can then use my compass and point myself north and try and figure out, okay, so if that's north and I can look and go, well, if that's north, that's north. But the mountain I want to double check is behind me. So I'm looking north and I'm not seeing the mountain and it does seem to be in the right direction behind me. So then I can take a bearing like I did before and I show you how to do this a little bit better in the other video. But with my compass on my, where I think I am, I can take a bearing to the direction that mountain is in. And let's say it's 225. To do that more precisely, you would use a second piece of paper and get a more precise measurement. But let's say it's 220. So then I would turn my compass to 220. So now the dial reads 220 and my arrow, my black lines are still facing north. So then I can line up with my compass. Sorry, you guys need to see this. <laughs> so I'm lining up my compass lines with north still. Actually, I should do it this side so that I can still see my lake. So now my compass is still facing north, but now my mirror is facing 220 degrees, the direction I think the mountain is. So now when I move my map around and I move my body to line up, I will be facing 220 degrees, but my map is still aligned with north. I, so hopefully I'll be looking at my map, looking at the mountain and actually looking at the mountain all at the same time and be like, yes, excellent. This is where I am, that's what I see. 
And I, if I can do that for two or three points, then I can triangulate a more precise idea of where I actually am. If that mountain is at the 220 degrees like I think it is, then I can then take a bearing to another high point or another point and start figuring out where I am more precisely. So that is how to use a mapping compass in the field. Pretty handy sometimes.